I know that you know that this is one of my favorite series. I say it every single time, but I freaking love answering you guys' questions in video. So please continue leaving questions on these Ask Brian videos so that I can make another episode. Now, without further ado, let us begin the question answering. Eric Jesperson asks, how long do your bulking and your cutting cycles usually last? Now, if you've been following the channel and my other channel, my old Humorous Progress channel along this whole time, then you know that I usually bulk for a very long time. So traditionally, I bulk between, I'd say something like minimum 30 weeks, at very minimum. That's like that's like the shortest period of time. Um, all the way up to, I think, 60 something weeks was my longest bulk. Uh, yeah, so I, I traditionally do very long bulks because I feel like if you're always bulking, cutting, bulking, cutting with these like, you know, 10 week increments, you're not gonna go anywhere, right? You're gonna be building muscle and then just tearing it down and building muscle and then tearing it down. Whereas if you can bulk for a really long time like a bear, you can just put on some size. And then my cutting cycles usually last as uh, six to 12 weeks, depending on how shredded I need to get, whether I'm just trying to get rid of a little bit of fat or if I'm trying to actually shred all the way down. Austin Weber says, man, you should put all the video games that you used to play in a video. I wish that I could use all the video game play footage without it being copyrighted because I totally would make a whole video like that. But real quick, uh, I grew up playing video games my entire life. My, my older brother, not LP, uh, my other one, I had two brothers, was just super into video games. So me and him played all day, every day. I'd say like minimum at least five hours a day, up to like eight to 10 hours, like a lot of video games. Uh, so I started with SNES, NES, all that stuff. But you know, the games I really enjoyed playing, Super Smash Brothers on the 64, um, Contra, tell me you guys remember Contra, uh, Double Dragon, those games were sick. I will smash anybody on any game, anytime. Come at me, bros. Oh, there's a whole other list of video games like RuneScape and all these other things, but I don't think I have time to list all of them because I've played a lot of video games. Jamie asked the question, Brian, how many orange potatoes should I eat a day? All the orange potatoes. Hello? Is this the orange potato games department? Oh, did... Yeah, yeah, I ha... No, I have a pretty big orange potato. Oh. Oh, I'll be making mad gains? Oh, I put the whole team on my back, though? Oh, I feed the whole team orange potato? Oh, we go to the state championships? Oh, we take over the world? Orange potato. Patrick wants to know how lean I'm planning on getting, and he wants to know it in pounds. Now, I'm planning on getting something between 5 and 7% body fat for my competition on October 4th. By the way, I've been saying first, but I've been lying. I, I got the dates mixed up. It's actually the 4th. Ooh, three-day difference. Anyways, uh, probably get down to something like 185 to 195 pounds, but it could even be lower. It could even be 180 to 185 pounds. Who really knows? We still have a good bit of time, um, and as we get closer, we, we will know more accurately what I'm gonna be competing at. Big shout out to Hannah J. This girl is a huge supporter, leaves a comment on every single video, and I friggin' love her. She says, do you speak any other foreign languages, i.e. maybe German? Uh, I wish I did. I really wish that I knew any other language, but I don't really. Uh, I kind of know Spanish. I, I played on a soccer team for like 12 years, and half the kids were Mexican, so I picked up a lot of Spanish. Then I actually went to, to school and, and took a couple classes for it. Eh, I kind of know Spanish, but I really don't like conjugating all the verbs and stuff, so I kind of just dropped out of it. But I can speak a good bit of Spanish. Also, I kind of got into this little spell where I wanted to learn Russian, so I started studying that. And I can't say that I can hold a conversation with you, but I have a lot of vocabulary in Russian, so I can I can pick out a few things, and I also know the Russian alphabet pretty well. Thank you for the question, Jashina. Mushina. And the final question comes from the Ganda Canal and he says, Hey Brian, should I do full range of motion or half range of motion when I'm doing a barbell curl? Now, you should always do full range of motion when you're doing curls, but you have to make sure that your form is good. Make sure that your elbow is staying by your side and not moving forward or backwards or left and right because this will make that your deltoid and some other muscles take over where you really want to just focus on your biceps. Now, look. When doing a barbell curl, you should come all the way up. See how my elbows are not moving forward? You're gonna do that when you barbell curl. Stop yourself, keep your elbow by your side, come all the way up, squeeze as tight as you can, twist your hand in, your pinky up and out, and then come all the way down. 
Don't stop here and come back up. Come all the way down, let your bicep stretch all the way, and then flex it hard back up. That's the best way to do barbell curls. All right, everyone, that's Ask Brian episode 11. Thank you again so much for joining me. You guys have all been so rad to me. For the entire time that I've been on YouTube, especially these last few months, you guys have been really pushing with me to move forward with the channel. So if you wanna help me grow the channel, all you have to do is share any of my videos on Facebook. It's a huge, huge help. You can also support the channel by buying a tank top. Also, t-shirts are coming, I think, in the next two or three weeks on beyondtheweek.com. Also, the last thing I wanna say is that a lot of you guys know that there was a live show happening this this Sunday uh, I believe the 3rd of August and plans have changed a little bit because I'm gonna go up to Huntington Beach for the US Open of surfing um, which is just like a huge huge surfing contest and there's just so many people so instead I'm going to vlog on that day and I'm gonna push back the live show one week so instead of the 3rd of August it's gonna be on the 10th of August so please write that down on your schedule because I really want all of you guys to be there especially now that we're over 10,000 subscribers I really want to do a live show and, and interact with all the new people and really get to know all the new subscribers. I'm at 10,870 subscribers right now. When I get to 11,000 subscribers, there will be another giveaway. So keep your eyes peeled in the next couple of videos because it will happen before the end of this weekend. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I love you all. Team Beyond the Week. Have you reached your natty limit yet? Lift heavy or die, Myron.